In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a classic construction model. This is the CCM Caterpillar DD9G push dozer with dual D9 tractors and 1 to 48 scale. In this particular configuration, there were 250 of these made earlier this year. And also earlier this year, um, you've seen the D9G with the rip blade that was previously reviewed. You will see the final of the three trio set reviewed at a later date on this channel, so be sure to stay tuned to see the designated push dozer. Moving along with this model, a little bit of background information on the real piece of machinery. The, the DD9G used tool D tractors, obviously, at once by the use of air controls, allowing the control of both tractors by a single operator in the front, right here under the canopy. Manufacturing began in 1968 and remained in production until the D10 was introduced in 1977. And basically, long story short, Caterpillar deemed that it was much more financially feasible and made a whole lot more sense to have one tractor, such as a D10, compared to have two of these monsters out on the site. So what would this particular type of machine be caught doing? Well, for the most part, as a push dozer, it would push along scrapers so they could get their pan full and not get stuck in material. Um, also, it was just a pretty heavy workhorse, and any machine that got bogged down in rough material or whatnot, um, you could see a lot of these rescuing them, pulling them to safety. Onward with the model review. It does have the 9C push blade right here. You can see that it's very well replicated with a fine cutting edge and bolt detail. Again, the blade doesn't function that much because, of course, it would just be a cushion blade, meaning that this would just push the back part of a scraper. It's not primarily, a, it's not used to bulldoze material as a typical bulldozer would be used for. The tracks are metal and are individually linked. However, I would not recommend playing around with them too much as they do seem very, very tight. However, they are transversely linked, and you can especially see this on the rear tractor and they are spring loaded as well uh, the controls hydraulic lines tanks all that kind of stuff the little details that you come to expect from CCM of course always do look phenomenal and always deliver a highlight of that is if you look at the joysticks they're all the top of them are all painted black there's an exposed engine bay with tons of details and tons of individually casted components on both of these tractors, both the front and the rear, which look phenomenal. The front tractor has the 1960s slash 1970s old Caterpillar canopy over the operator's controls, which again are tough to see, but they are there right here and are very, very small, but look incredible. As I said before, the hydraulic lines between Tractor 1 and Tractor 2 are done up very, very nicely, as are both of the silvered exhausts, which do have holes in them. If we spin around the model to the rear, here you can see the back, where it has a tow hitch on it. And also over here you can, you can see the uh, exhaust hole. And over here, again, another shot at the awesome engine detailing, which turned out phenomenal in this particular model. So, overall, this is an excellent model by CCM. As are most CCM models, this is what they refer to as a closed edition, meaning that you cannot purchase it from CCM anymore. Uh, it retailed for around $600 US. It is now considerably much more than that on the secondary market. So if you're ever into CCM models or perhaps you check out their website and you see that there's a model coming up that you might be interested in, as a fellow collector, um, I would highly recommend that you put in a pre-order. That not only guarantees that you get one of these, but also you get it at a much more manageable price uh, before the people on eBay have a heyday with your wallet. So take that for what it's worth. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or perhaps something I didn't cover on this review, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.